Residents at the Good Samaritan Society are having their moods lifted thanks to a new friend. In this morning's Positively Kettledam, Max Hofer shows you a puppy whose heart is bigger than her bite. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Travis. Now, it's been a lonely year for residents at the Good Samaritan Society in Scotland. Due to the pandemic, they aren't able to have visitors except for one little puppy who's making a big impact. Residents at the Good Samaritan Society in Scotland, South Dakota, don't get many visitors during the pandemic. I haven't had a lot of visitors now. We were on a lockdown pretty much here until a couple weeks ago. That is, except for one four-legged friend who always goes out of her way to greet them. Meet Gracie. She's a three-month-old golden retriever who stops by Dennis Grookey's room once a day. She's a good companion dog, aren't you? Now, Gracie doesn't just wander around by herself. She's always accompanied by a staff member. Social services manager Pam Stewart is her owner. She's ready to get in the car in the morning, and she comes bounding in the door like, I'm here. She got her in January when she was only eight weeks old. She was round and roly-poly, and um, the plan was to keep her at home for a couple weeks and get to know her and then bring her on a limited basis. She came at a time of hardship for the residents. Back in November, their original dog, Hope, passed away from lymphoma. She became very instrumental in the residents' day. She had her routine where she would go to certain rooms at certain times. She, she comforted people um, when they were passing away. She comforted families. She spent time with people who were depressed. Hope was a very caring dog. Grookey says that Gracie has been a big ray of sunshine for him and his fellow residents. She's making people smile. We've had people talking who hadn't talked for a while. We've had people move in their wheelchairs who hadn't necessarily motivated their wheelchairs in a while. The companion dogs are just great to have around for uh, just to have a dog in the facility to, like me, to pet and talk to and break up the monotony of the day. Even after the pandemic, she'll keep tugging on heartstrings and chew toys for years to come. Any time that we can bring some some joy and some, you know, boost to their mood, we love that. She wouldn't have for Now recently the federal government announced it's now encouraging in-person visitation for nursing homes. For more information, check out the link under this story at kelloland.com.